Second Minutes, sponsored by Sinclair Heating and Cooling for 24-7 comfort on call. Hello, Bradley. This looks familiar. We did this story yesterday. I want to cover it real quickly. Just okay. some of the highlights before we get into today's story because they're both closely linked. Okay. okay? The story yesterday was about kidney health and kidney disease. Mm -hmm. um, 37 million people in the U.S. have chronic kidney disease. It's caused mainly by diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity. We had mentioned that the problem with the kidney damage is once it occurs, you can't really reverse it. So it's important to catch it early. But the big problem was Current screening tests typically don't con detect it until half of the kidney function has been lost. And that takes us to yesterday's story. They found that eye scans can provide some crucial insights, a heads up to kidney health. Mm -hmm. Go to WBAY.com, click three brilliant minutes, you can go watch the entire segment. But here's today's segment related to early detection for organ health. Okay. okay? This is from Stanford University Medical Center. They're pretty Re smart. They are. Yeah. Researchers find a way to predict which of our organs will fail first. Before we get to the study, how they figured this out, let's look what they found, okay? All right. They had nearly 6,000 people in total that they found that our organs age at different rates between the organs and then our chronological age, okay? And because that happens, organs that are aging more rapidly raises the risk for diseases for those organs and for overall risk of dying in general, okay? okay? So according to the study, about one in every five individuals over the age of 50, one out of five over 50 is walking around with at least one organ aging at a strongly accelerated rate. So that's what they found, okay? Here's how they surmised all of this, okay? And this is kind of interesting. In the initial study, there were 1,400 healthy people ages 20 to 90, and they took blood samples and they identified thousands of different proteins. And then using machine learning algorithms that they designed, artificial intelligence, okay. they identified, they whittled all of those proteins down to about 900 that they could uh, relate to specific organs. And they looked at 11 organs, you see them there, heart, fat, lung, immune system, kidney, liver, muscle, pancreas, brain, vasculature, and intestine. And what they were able to do is then link those proteins to, this is just specifically heart, this is just specifically lung, this is just specifically brain. So they had that combination already associated, okay? Okay. Once they did that, they went back and they compared it to all of the various ages of the people in the study, and they got a baseline average, okay? So say, for example, we, they found maybe there were 50 people that were age 40. For a 40-year-old, this amount of proteins is average for your heart, okay. okay? So once they did that, they expanded the survey to get more data, okay? They looked at another 4,000 people, okay? And what they found is that they were able to really identify that baseline for every single organ, what the average should be. And in fact, and this is the problem, Chris, this is what they, they found, okay? That these individuals living with at least one organ aging significantly more rapidly than the average, they're at a very heightened risk for disease in that particular organ within the next 15 years. So again, this might be another blood test that'll be coming sure. for all of us an available thing because it just gives you a heads up. And again, it's that early warning, catching right. it early where you can help to kind of step in and manage it a little bit. This uh, particular of interest to this, this demographic right here. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. we're not getting younger. No, we are not. And part of us is getting older faster than the rest. Hey, don't look at me when you say that. Okay, sorry. <laughs>